All right, let's learn some laser cue. All right, again, you're gonna lose uh, the microphone here for a second, but then I'll plug it back in. Okay, so it looks like microphone's back. We're back. Okay. Laser Q. down a bit okay okay laser cue pretty simple game from the 80s remember let's see what year 84 um so the game's all about collecting pool balls uh well, like when you start the game you'll see the one ball is lit on the drop targets you have to hit these drop targets in order or else they'll reset so you'll see as we get into the game if I collect the one ball and then I don't hit the two ball, say I hit the five ball, it'll reset me back one ball. So if we were on the four ball and we hit the five ball instead, it would reset back to the three ball. And then if we hit out of order again, it would reset back to two, then one ball. So you got to hit the drop targets in order to get through those. Then once you're through ball five, ball six lights at this spot target over here, ball seven lights at this spot target over here on the right, and ball eight is the right orbit if you will goes all the way around the back and hits a spot target above the top lanes each time you collect a pool ball it's adding to your end of ball bonus they're worth a thousand apiece those can be multiplied by up to 20x you increase bonus multipliers by spelling pool up top also there are other things that come along with spelling pool i believe once you spell um pool it'll spot you a letter in the ball targets there's these blue spot targets b a l by the pop uppers and then the other l is over here in between these two lanes spell pool it'll also give you a letter for ball spelling ball will spot you the next ball <laughs> in your sequence so if you need the one ball and you spell ball with the spot targets it'll spot you a ball and move on to ball two after you spell ball, the spinner lights for a thousand a rip. As you'll find, it's not the way the geometry is on this game. It's not very easy to rip the spinner from the flippers. It's easiest to rip the spinner from the plunge. Um, so I like to once I get spinner lit, I like to just hope the ball finds its way back into the shooter lane and um, get a good rip from the plunge to get that lit spinner. This game has double flippers on the right. It, it typically has a ball guide underneath the upper flipper so that the ball 
Some people tap it down all the way so the ball can jump between the flippers and drain. Some people leave it up so that you know it creates like a ball guide there so it won't drain. I've completely taken it out. So you got to be real careful on this game to not um, let the ball go between the flippers. Uh, the other aspect of the game are these Q targets. You can see off this upper tiny flipper, there's three targets. They spell Q. This holds ball to ball. So if you spell Q once, you'll be awarded 10,000 points, and it moves on to the next award, which is 20,000. Then 30,000, then 50,000. Um, if you get past the 50,000 award, it will also it'll award you 50,000, and it will also advance the ball value. The ball values are at all three spot targets, four, six, seven, and eight. You can see right now they're at their lowest value except for the eight ball, which we have already hit the target once. So if you hit the ball target, when it's not lit, it advances its value. So now that seven ball target, that seven ball target is now worth 20,000 instead of 10,000, meaning when I get to the seven ball, once that's lit for a seven ball, and I hit that target, I'll get that lit value for that ball. So you kind of, a, a way to score a little bit more in this game is to build up those ball values before those balls become lit and you collect them. And that also will carry over ball to ball. The main one I like to work on is, is the eight ball. Cause that one, like it's a little bit further down the road. It's a little bit easier for me to hit usually. Um, and it's worth the most. So you can get the eight ball all the way up to a hundred thousand on its collect. But the six and seven ball, you can only get those to 50,000 if you get them all the way up. As far as strategy for the game, um, even if you, so if you go through one entire rack of balls, which is 15 balls, one 15 light will light up in the middle of the play field, meaning you have 15 balls collected, all worth 1,000 apiece. That's not that much an end of ball bonus. Even if it's maxed out at 20x, it's not that much. Your play field, or sorry, your end of ball bonus multipliers do carry over throughout the whole game, so you do want to work on those. So anytime you're up in the top lanes, definitely spell pool to get those advanced. But at the end of the day, if you have three, you can get up to three racks of balls collected. Even if you have those all collected times 20, that's only going to get you 900,000 in bonus. Okay, so and it's not very easy to get to that point. So I tend to work on you know, like collecting high value balls, you know, like building up those values and like like working on the Q targets. I do that a lot. And then obviously spelling pool and ball as I go. Um, that's really what I do. I, I don't go out of my way to complete the racks. If I am if I get through the drop targets real quick, then yeah, I'll, I'll keep going and, and, and move on from there. But it's pretty tough to get through a whole rack of balls. So going for end of ball bonus isn't the greatest idea in my opinion. So if I'm on this upper flipper, I usually like to go Q targets or um, shoot the spinner if it's lit. I can usually get a decent spinner rip from that upper flipper. But hitting this this that eight or the eight ball target from the upper flipper is very easy. So that's another shot I like to do. It's pretty hard to hit the eight from this flipper, but if you can find where it's at. So we got our eight ball maxed out. We spelled pool once. So if we get to the eight ball, see if there we go. You gotta be careful. You almost on this one, you almost never want to flip with these right flippers. You almost always want to just let the ball bounce from them, like to the left. So you'll see our, our bonus multiplier stayed, our our ball value stayed, our Q stayed. So a lot of the progress in this game saves ball to ball. Except for like lit spinner won't save. Where you're at on the rack will save. So really the only thing is lit spinner, I think is the only thing that won't save ball to ball. I might be forgetting something else. But yeah, that's essentially all the game's got to offer. Um, there is a feature that I have turned off. It's an, you can earn an extra ball. Let's see what it says here. Okay. So once you get through one rack, extra ball lights at that eight ball target in the, in the back there. If you, if that was turned on, you could get that awarded. It's a, it's a timed extra ball. So you get to just play as long as you can for, I believe, it's it's it, it's a setting. But I think it it's like 30 seconds, so like 20 to 30 seconds you have it. But it's an, un, it, it's an unlimited extra ball for that amount of time. So what a friend of mine said was he likes to get the spinner lit, get that extra ball, and then while that mode's running, just let the ball drain, get in the shooter lane, and then just keep plunging the ball into the lit spinner. So... 
But again, I have those turned off so we won't be experiencing that extra ball mode. So I'm gonna try and go after some drop targets here. Since we got that eight ball, pretty valuable. So we're on the two, and again, if we hit something other than the two, so we spelled ball, so it awarded us that two two ball target without hitting it. And again, spelling ball lights the spinner, so our spinner's lit now. So we're on four and five. So what's nice about getting to five is we can't hit them out of order now because five's the only one left. So we're pretty much guaranteed to get past this drop target bank without too much trouble. There we go. So now we're on six. And once you have the ball lit, so right now our our six ball value is 10,000 points. We can't make that any higher before we collect it because it's already lit. So once we hit the six, we're going to collect it at 10,000. Then it's going to move to our seven. What I'm going to try and do, since I don't really have a shot at the six right now, I'm going to shoot the seven to increase that value. Now we'll try and go six. But here we go. Ball went into the shooter lane with a lit spinner. That's pretty much the only way to put a good spinner rip on this game. <laughs> you can hit it, like I said, from the flippers, but you're not going to get near as much out of it. So there's our six collect. Right into the seven. And you can see if you collect those balls at whatever value, the value resets. So now our seven's back down to ten thousand. Trying to set up my left flipper here for plunge rip. Probably the lamest spinner rip I've ever seen in a game. But and I don't know why I did that. So it ended up being a okay game with the crappy first two balls. With those, those spinner plunges and getting through the pool balls a little bit. But yeah, you if you can, if you can find those 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 ball target shots before those balls are lit, that's good value when you get to those those shots. Because the progress saves. So that's kind of like a game plan you can start with. Is I'm gonna try and build up these these three targets before they're lit. And then at least when I get to them, I'm gonna get good value out of them. Rip it. Ooh, got a whole bunch of drops so far. Ah. Oh, I hit out of order and drain. <laughs> uh. This is a pretty long playing game. Even with all the adjustments I made to it, um, I took off the tilt warnings as well. So, first tilt bob hit and you're done on this bad boy. So I didn't want to hit that six yet because I kind of want to build up this seven first. I have definitely not figured out a surefire game plan on this game. I kind of have... ADD when it comes to what I'm doing on this game a lot of times. Oh, good save. 
Try for the spinner. Way early. <laughs> all right, so we got the eight ball maxed out, so let's get the seven. Let's go spinner again. There we go. So that's about all you're going to get out of that spinner on a flipper rip. I mean, I guess not a terrible idea to shoot it, but definitely not very satisfying rip. Why am I hitting that seven so late? And early. And I got lucky. So collected the seven via ball targets. Now the eight's ready for 100k. So once we've been through eight, nine goes back to the center drops. Oh, I need to clean some rollovers up there. Oh, yeah, I like if I, if the if the <laughs> if the eight ball value isn't max and I got a nice trap on that upper flipper, I always go for it. drop targets out of order, but then I completed the ball targets and it gave it to me anyway. That's pretty sweet. Alright, I'm gonna go six, or I guess 14 target now. Now we got 15 target. Remember, if you're having trouble hitting a certain ball target, like I'm having trouble hitting this target on the right, I got BAL. I just need the one L and the pop bumpers. So, might not be a bad idea to just go for that. There we go. Okay. So, we got through one rack. Then it just starts over. So you can see it, it banked us one rack of balls here. Then we can get up to three of them lit. Spinners lit. In the plunger. Just get as much as you can there. Plunger rip. So again, so you saw we just collected the extra ball, but just did a nice little light show. It doesn't give us anything more than that, I don't think. I'm not sure if it gives us points or what, but I definitely have those turned off. So a better game there because we had to, uh, some better bonus built up, but I don't get over a million points in this very often. So I, I would say, at least in my experience on this particular one, you get around the million range, you're, you, you're going to be competing to win every time. Not good. <laughs> How's the tap pass? Not good. I mean, that one wasn't terrible, but. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, and if you don't, if, it, if you're trying to tap pass from the top flipper, it might not even flip because of the double flippers. <laughs> Depending on how light you go. not sure why you would need to do much tap passing on this. You almost always want to be on the left flipper anyway. It's not like you're going to be able
terrible. Ugh. Lucky. Yeah, Alien Poker and this have the same play field. I think Alien Poker has saucers at those shots instead of spot targets. But from what I understand, it's, they're both not very great games. <laughs> I mean, I know this one isn't very great because I've been playing it a lot, but I don't have much time on Alien Poker. But you, you walk up to it and the layout looks amazing, but I'm just not a big fan of the rules. I thought one of them had multi-ball, but I guess neither do. Obviously, this one doesn't. Oh. Got robbed on the eight ball shot. Crazy how late on the flipper that eight ball shot is from. Ugh. Alien poker might be a great tournament game, but I mean, we'll see how long this one takes. But I was very afraid of how long the ball times are going to be on this at first. Stupid. I'm not sure when games like... Uh, so I have these early like Williams that I played like this. Like I, I much prefer Blackout. Obviously Firepower. Um, I like Jungle Lord a lot more than this game. Jungle Lord is one of my favorite '80s Williams. That game is awesome. This game's okay, but like definitely could have been better. Definitely like the shots, just not a huge fan of the rules. Come on, baby. Way too late. Nope. You could probably make this game like... So there's this... There's this real tiny... 
in-lane guide here, right, right before the actual like ball guide that's right next to the flipper. That, um, if you took that out, that would make that left <laughs> that left side extremely dangerous. But I think that would just make things too too hard. All right, where am I at on pool balls? Oh, I'm on the eight. That was terrible. Get around. There we go. Ah. Come on. Stay with me. Eight ball. Man. Eight ball. Love that shot. Love that shot. It's not a, not a great eight ball to collect, but we got it most of the juice. So we're not making this game look easy. We're not making this game look easy. Yes, yeah, so we'll play this one for another half hour or so just to get some more gameplay on it. So people can see uh, what they might want to try as far as strategy. Like I said, I don't really have too much of a surefire way to play this. Just kind of get used to where the shots go. I see what works best for you. Mm. It's a real bad game. No. <laughs> Oh, hit the side of the drop target. There we go. All right. Let's spin her. <laughs> that was an easy 100K right there. All right. Eight balls juiced. Eight balls juiced. Get that five. Lots of bouncy bouncy from the right. Oh, bad move.
have seven max. Let's see if we can do this six ball. Ugh, try to back it up there. Didn't work out. Ooh, that would have been crazy. Ah. And what's nice about getting that Q award, so if I get that Q award now, I'll get 50,000 points, and it advances the value on every ball. So we already maxed out seven, but it will increase six and eight. So see if we can't get that here. See how our six value increased and our eight ball value increased. All right. Seven's ready at max value, but I want to try and get that eight ball value up a little bit more. A couple more shots to the eight ball target. One more shot to the eight ball. Oh, that would have been nice. I would have managed to get it on the other flipper. There we go. All right, now he wants seven and eight. the eight ball sweet 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 man how did i miss that <laughs> there we go right back to where we were all right just don't hit the five Increase is six and the seven right now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Six is maxed. Get out of there. As you see, like on decent games, we're getting in the six to seven hundred range. Again, I couldn't find any surefire like yep this is what you want to do the entire time you kind of and i guess it is one kind of positive about the game there's no like oh yeah this is for sure how you get the high scores you kind of have to play the long game with this one just really work the whole play field try and maximize your points along the way damn it so Red legs. Ew. Four nothing. Yuck. 
Reds are losing four nothing. Boo. All right. New game, new opportunity. Boo this man. Bad move, human. Ah. There we go. There we go. Ah, stupid. That evil shot. Got some poopy games on here. All right. I think this game is uh, humbling us here a little bit. All right. We'll play a few more and then we'll call it quits for the day. Thanks to everybody who uh, came and hung out with me while I was recording these tutorials. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, we got a few more, a few more games out there that. May have been pretty hard to find tips on before that you can find now. Ugh. That spinner. Oh. Get around. Oh. Ooh, I'll take that.
is maxed. Damn, I knew it. I was right. I got away with the. That looks like my. Man, I don't want to play field. Camera keeps getting all crappy on me. Okay. Play field cam furs again. Don't know if that's a cable issue or what. Get up there. Clean that P lane. Had some wicked spin on it. Mm. That was a scary one. I almost lost it. Almost. Damn. Last one. Last one. Let's make it a good one. Okay. 
get those ball values up. Damn it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we can do it. Oh, that was dumb. around nope damn it <laughs> all right we didn't really get too many good scores on that one, but hopefully everybody enjoyed that. Um, learned some new games. Again, I'll have them all on my YouTube channel, so you can come and see them whenever you need to, if you need to learn them before a tournament, things like that. So, again, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We will see you next time. Again, not on a terribly regular schedule anymore. I just kind of try and find time for, the, for some streams here and there. But um, mark your calendars for July 10th. Because I'll be streaming all day that day for a tournament at my house, so that'll be fun. We'll, uh, we'll be doing match play, qualifying, and finals with commentators, and should be a good time. So, if I don't stream before then, we will see you guys on July 10th. Alright, thanks. See you later.